Hey Ivan, it's Brody here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to give you a quick virtual tour on the lovely Ford Everest that you've inquired on with us today. Now, a little bit about us before I jump into the video. Like I mentioned, we are Pacific Toyota. This is one of our two pre-owned vehicle yards here in Cairns. We do have another one about two kilometers down the road next to Toyota brand new vehicles and Lexus of Cairns. Just up the stairs, there's our showroom. And as you can see, we do have Toyota Finance available on all of our pre-owned vehicles as well. Uh, but without going too much further into that, I want to give you a full condition report on the Everest. So starting through the bonnet, if there's any sort of stone chips, imperfections, anything like that, I will point them out for you. But as you can see, the bonnet's really clean through there. Um, got that nice sparkly silver paint as well. So very, very tidy. Front right hand guard's all really clean through there. And as you can see, it does have a Goodyear tyre, highway terrain, heaps of tread left in those, um, and a top quality tyre as well. No gutter ash or anything on the wheels there either. And to give you an idea in the underbody here, it's all really, really clean. Coming through the front bar now, you've got this nice updated front grille. They look great in the Everest. You've got your LED headlights and your front parking sensors through there. So obviously all up to date and looks amazing. Coming in the front, uh, sorry, left hand guard. That's all nice and clean as well through there. Heaps of tread left on the front left hand tire as well. And again, no gutter ash or anything through the wheel there. And all really, really tidy under the underbody to give you the best idea I can through there. Now, coming up through here, obviously you've got your front windscreen. There's no major chips, cracks, anything like that. It's all roadworthy as well. We do do the roadworthies in house, so you know that's all been done and it's all ready to go. All right, nice and clean through the roof. Every car that we do sell as well here in Cairns comes with a clear history report. So just as the car's never been written off, never been stolen, and doesn't owe anyone any money or anything like that as well. So coming in the front left-hand guard, that's all nice and key, clean, sorry. And as well as the uh, left-hand rear door as well. There is a very light little scratch just in the paint there that I wanted to point out now. Anything like that, we can have a go at trying to buff them out a little bit better, but I did just want to point them out just in case they don't buff out as well, just so you're aware. Otherwise, coming through the rear here, all really, really clean. Heaps of tread left in the back tire as well. You can still see the pen markings on there, so next to new tire, same Goodyear tire as well, so no gutter ash or anything. And then again, to try and give you the best idea with the camera that I can of the underbody, it's all, all really, really clean. Coming down the left-hand rear side, there's a couple of very light little scratches in the paint there. Nothing too major that's gonna affect it, but I do, like I said, wanna be as honest as I can in the video. You do have rear parking sensors and a reverse camera in the back of the Everest, making them really easy to drive. Coming through the rear bars, all nice and clean, as well as the rear door and the glass through there. Now with the boots of these, you can either press them or you can also Double click your button here and that will automatically open that rear door. So really easy to use. Otherwise you've obviously got the button on there and just on the back here to close it. So I'll pop these seats open in a second to have a look at the interior. But as you can see through the back here, all the plastics all nice and clean and everything like that. Now, give me one sec while I pop these up so we can look at them when I do jump into the interior a bit more. So obviously you can see from the back there when you are sitting in there, you still have that fair bit of boot room there. And like I said, you've got that automatic rear door, which is closing really, really easy. All right, coming in the right-hand side, rear quarters, all nice and clean, and heaps of tread in the back left-hand tire. Again, no gutter ash or anything, so all four wheels and tires, all clean and ready to go. Coming through the back door, which is all nice and tidy as well, and through the front here too, so. Overall, very clean on the exterior of the car. A couple of very light little scratches. Very minor little scuff there just down on the kick cart of that door. Now you do have your keyless entry as well. So with the key in my pocket, you can probably hear the mirrors while I'm going through it, but you can lock the car like that, or you can also unlock it by just grabbing the handle as well. Obviously only when you have the key in your pocket, but going into the interior now, I'll quickly jump straight through to the rear and give you a look at those two rear seats as you can see through there. Uh, no rips, tears, anything like that to the leather. They, to be honest, don't look like they've been sat in. Same as these very rear seats here. And in the best thing about these, aircons in the roof. So everyone in the car is going to be very cool. Carpet's all nice and clean. And obviously you have your aircon control in the back here as well. And the door cards, they're all nice and clean as well. Very light little scuff on there, but otherwise nice and tidy. 
Coming through the driver's door card here, you've got your mirror and window controls on the door card. All easy to use and one of the coolest features about these, you've just got your door handle just inside here. So really easy to use. You do have a carpet floor mat in the front there, which obviously just needs a quick vacuum, but otherwise the interior is basically immaculate in this. And you do have a carpet floor mat in the front on the left hand side as well. Jumping out and I'll jump into the car here. Give it a quick push start which obviously it's just a button there. So you just have to have the key in the car, push that button there and the car starts up really, really easily. All through here, digital dash, 32,014 kilometers to be exact on there. Nice and clean and all up to date. No engine warning lights or anything like that through there. Got your cruise control and your volume controls and everything on there as well. Coming up through the dash here, you've got your headlight controls and everything as well as another boot button down there all extremely clean through there and as you can see in these updated Everest they've got this massive screen in them um, I guess they're probably changing the game on that side of things um, as well so it does have all your cameras your reverse camera and you've got your parking sensors there that obviously if I do put it into drive or reverse um, you'll be able to hear them so you can have a look but um, obviously as I said so you've got that front parking sensor that tells you there's probably as there is a pole just there that you're close to and then out the back it's telling me there's obviously cars behind me as well um, obviously you've got your aircon controls so you've just got your fan speeds temperatures and modes and that can also all be adjusted on the touchscreen as well so like i said this is probably one of the more up-to-date cars in the market at the moment um probably while you're looking for one you got a wireless charger here as well as a usb and a usb c point in there automatic transition transmission really easy to use a couple of cup holders and your four-wheel drive modes and buttons through there. Automatic park brake, so to turn that off, you just push that down, and to turn it back on, you just pull it back up. So really simple and easy to use. Good finish on the interior here as well, and you can just take that out for a little bit more space through there. All right, last thing I'm gonna go through is just your service history. It's probably only been due for two services, but I just wanna go through there so you know the car has been serviced from new. Give me a second while I pull this up here. All right, yeah, just like I thought. So it's only been serviced twice. So once at 24,000 there, and then again, it has just been serviced at 31,959. Pacific Heno is our reconditioning center. So has just been serviced through us. So it's not due until 42,000 kilometers. Um, so you've got heat to driving without needing another service. All right, closing that one up now. I'll go around and give you one last quick look around the car, but that'll conclude my virtual tour on the uh, on the lovely Everest. Um, if you do have any questions about the car itself, please let me know, or obviously our dealership here in Cairns. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to hear what you think. Thanks again.